so I did a thing. While I normally travel the country in my 2016 Toyota Corolla, this week I got a chance to try out van life for myself for the first time in this gorgeous 2023 Sprinter van that has everything you need for a comfortable and pleasant time on the road. Here is the cringy footage I got of me trying to figure out van life. And at the end, I will give you a tour of this brand new van. This is a disaster tour. Okay, what did you do? <laughs> I need a second. And if you're bored, I have a game for you. Try to count how many times I do one of these. I tried to count how many times I did this and kept losing track. I've always wanted to do that. But I guess we should start from the beginning. Moving in took me only a few seconds because, well, when you live in your car, you can't have a lot of stuff. It's hotter than Florida in here. Okay, this is a brand new vehicle. They gave it to me 3,000 miles, 3,000 miles. Trust me with that. So you do have to push a button to start. <laughs> push the brake, press the button. Started. I really can't believe that they let any Joe Schmo do this. Anyone could go rent a camper van and just drive it. This is massive. I'm so high up. Oh. Push it up, down for drive. Ah, here we go. <laughs> this is so scary. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm so high off the ground. I feel like I'm gonna tip over. Yes, I'm back at the Salt Flats. I just can't stay away. <laughs> I don't even know how to film in here. I'm too tall. There we go. Hello. All right, so in the back there are the window covers. <gasps> <laughs> this is going to be an adventure. Here's the garage that I packed. Pretty full. And these here are the window covers that are gonna go on, so I'm gonna grab those. Hanging out in bed, this huge bed. <gasps> I'm going to bed though. I was gonna film some stuff tonight, but I just can't do it. I'm exhausted, the stress of it all. Good night, everyone. This is my first day back west, and it's really good to be back. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So I woke up this morning and imposter syndrome has definitely set in. I have a whole house with me in the middle of the desert. I can cook pancakes inside. Okay. Turn these on. Woohoo! <laughs> Easy cheesy. I'm making coffee inside. I'm not awake yet. This coffee. I keep on like unconsciously hunching over. I have so much clearance. <laughs> I don't need to hunch over. But I don't know. I'm like a small space and like in my car I'm normally like don't need to hunch over. Just be normal. Today we're gonna try the hot water outdoor shower. Um, I've never showered in the desert before, so this is very exciting, let alone in a hot shower in my van. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, here it goes. I feel so gross. This is so weird. Okay. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> it's actually really, really warm. <laughs> that 
was the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Sorry, you guys had to see all that. I wasn't sure how to not get the van wet and wash my hair at the same time. So sorry if that looked like really awkward when you go like, this is literally a dream life. Before I left for my trip, my mom made me raviolis to take with me. So we're going to do that for lunch today and everyone be prepared to be ridiculously, tremendously jealous. Sorry, not sorry. I'm way too excited about this. Gotta figure out where the pans are. So I'm really hungry, so I don't want to add too much. But I probably will anyways. It's gonna smell Italian up in here. Meh, thank you so much. So good. Just look at that. Oof, not a bad view either. I will say, having a running faucet while doing dishes was uh, quite the treat on the road here. I'm getting so spoiled, and then I'm gonna go back to my car. <laughs> Got a desert storm coming in. This is so cool. It's supposed to thunderstorm too, so I wonder if I'm gonna see lightning out here. Did you guys see the lightning? <laughs> this is scary crazy. You know what else is really great is that I have all these habits from the car, making my bed every day, putting things away immediately. So the van has been super tidy <laughs> so far this week. I'm constantly picking up because you have to in your car, you cannot let things lag for like even five minutes. It will get disastrous. All right, let's see if I remember to drive this thing. Push in the brake, press the button, don't turn the key. All right, here we go. Turn off the e-brake, fasten your seat belt. You guys like the driving lesson? How to drive a 2023 Mercedes Sprinter van? I don't know either. Go up for reverse. <laughs> okay, fine. Everything is fine. Back up cam. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Brown loop. Okay, down to drive. Professional. Gotta love the bumpy dirt roads though. Although with this high clearance, it's really nice. You don't really notice too much. Oh. Okay, you do notice the swaying a little bit more. I don't like that. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright everyone, repeat it with me. We will put diesel into the van, not gas. Diesel. 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 Alright. Diesel is actually like 40 cents cheaper than gas. I didn't know this. It is $3.59 here. Isn't that good? Is that good? I gotta research this later. I thought diesel is more expensive in certain areas. Problem. So everyone, please pardon the outfit, but I'm actually camping at Crater of the Moon National Monument. So check out my campsite. It is awesome. Check out this campsite. Holy. I literally have lava in my campsite. This is like next level camping. This is going to be a good trip. <laughs> I know croc shorts and a hoodie is a little bit confusing, but we're starting a new movement. Camping comfort. I cannot get enough of these mountains. <sighs> Pancakes again. Pancakes, when will you be done? I'm so hungry, hungry. Oh boy. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't get a van, huh? <laughs> Pancakes for dinner again. I'm going shopping, okay? Leave me alone. If anyone's never tried van life, I definitely recommend giving it a try for a weekend or something, because it will change your world in all the horrible ways. Horribly wonderful ways. Hi everyone, today I'm going to give you a tour around this 2023 Mercedes Sprinter van that has been all decked out for van life. 
it's not actually mine i'm just borrowing it for a week but still this is after all angie on tour and tours is kind of my thing so but this one will be unique because i have no idea what i'm talking about actually now that i think of it that's not that unique i never know what i'm talking about <laughs> but hey entertainment will be here entertainment will be found here <sighs> can't get the hair in my okay also there's a thunderstorm coming in so we'll try to do this quick so welcome inside when you first walk in you are met with the kitchen area I'm gonna be so good at this. This is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, this is the kitchen. Let me just show you what we got here. I'm sorry. The refrigerator is quite big here, and a nice working countertop on top of that, so it's not misused space or anything. Your propane stove top with two burners, and you have all your drawers for storage and overhead storage compartments as well. The drawers in this rental unit come fully stocked, so we have. A silverware drawer, plates, uh, uh, bowls, mixing bowls, coffee mugs, and then in the bottom drawer you have your pots and pans. So you got a good variety of sizes. Over top compartments, they have this very secure latch. So you just gotta press firmly in there and then it won't pop open while you're driving. The other side here we have a sink and another countertop that you could use um, if you need extra space if you're cooking. This comes right off the countertop and then you have access to your sink in here to do your dishes or not do your dishes if you know what I mean. So the sink is very easy to use. You just have to flip a switch on the side here. And that's the water pump working. So that's good. And then this uh, here turns it on and off. And I even thought to put a little soap dispenser here. Very cute. That's how a sink works. And the water compartment is underneath here. It's a five gallon jug is able to hook up in here. And on the other side of the sink, they also have this outside work bench or table that you can use. So every single window comes with its own customized um, heat shield that you can put up at night. It's also great for privacy, but it does keep the heat out during the day, which is why I had it up before um, we got the sun coming out on this side. I don't like it too hot because we all get a little bit cranky when it gets too hot. They just suction cup right on, and as you can see, it's uh, fit to the window perfectly. So works pretty good. Ta -da. These vans are also equipped with a smoke detector and a propane detector as well. And I may or may not have set that off this morning as I was burning my bagel. You'll never know and I'll never tell. Behind the sink we have a bench here. There's actually seat belts. So I guess it could legally be a seat for extra passengers if you did have any extra people. Although I can't imagine you wanting more than two people in this small space. But I guess, yeah, you could fit more be a little snug but to each their own and there's also a power station back here for charging so here they got a couple different types of outlets as well as usb ports and then to turn that on the inverter is right over here so i would just switch that on or off here is your solar information so right now we're at 100 percent capacity because it is sunny out and i'm not using much energy um, this is for the overhead lights and then that's the dimmer to control that and then under here is another more storage. This is the van of endless storage. And then here it leads to the back garage. It's just a little window compartment and I'm using it for my dirty laundry. <laughs> and then over here we have a uh, upper cabinet for more of your clothing storage or miscellaneous pantry storage. And they have a little mirror on the inside. Hello everyone. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, I tend to live out of backpacks. And now to this ginormous bedroom. I'm gonna miss this when I go back to my car. So this bed can comfortably fit two people and even more comfortably one person. And in the back here, we have some more storage for clothing. They also have these book lights. So those just have to come on. And they're on both sides of the bed here with USB plug underneath if you wanted to charge your phone in bed, which I've been doing. And then they all turn on and off, which is really cool. They thought of everything. Now, unfortunately for my tall people out there, like me, I'm five foot nine for your reference here. The bed does not fit me when I am this way. So I can't lay down across. If you did have that issue, there's actually a lip here that flips up so the bed actually extends. So you could lay this way rather than this way. Let's go. That's down like that, and then you kind of lay down like this, and then I fit fine. I definitely fit two people. 
Actually, three people. Two people and a dog. And when you're laying in bed, there's actually a fan right above the bed that you can turn on. Kind of sucks the air out. Yeah, it's very nice. Here's the back. And this here is the garage. Garage with the outdoor shower. So this outdoor shower is actually heated. So what you do is you take this off. It's connected to propane. Can you see that? It's connected to a propane tank. And um, in here, it does some stuff to make it hot. I don't know, I'm not a magician. So you turn these two, the switch on. Oh! Flip the nozzle so it doesn't get you wet. This is a disaster tour. Okay, what you do? <laughs> I need a second. And then you turn this switch on up here. And then when you're ready, it heats the water and you could slowly release the latch. And voila, let there be water. This is what happens when they let just anybody do anything. Yeah. Anyways, that's the shower. We're just gonna leave that alone. Before I make more of a mess. So the fans come with a shovel if you need that for certain activities. And then it also comes with this outdoor mat for the awning. And I guess I'll show you the awning next and the pole for the awning. All right, you guys get the point. There's an awning. You pull down the thingies. It's about the rain, so we're not gonna do this right now. <laughs> And on the top of the van, they actually have solar panels, and I haven't walked up there yet, so now seems like a good time as any. Although I'm kind of scared by this ladder. I'm not afraid of heights, it's just I don't trust my depth perception on ladders, but yeah. We got this. Easy cheesy. Oh, maybe not with the camera. One second. Oh, nice. Yep, so there's a solar panel. And there's my view. Kind of fun up here though. King of the world. Okay, sorry. Be normal, Angie. Be normal. You can really see the storm coming in from this angle though. <laughs> we gotta wrap this up. And that, my friends, was your super superficial van tour that took probably a minute. <laughs> yes, but anyways, you could rent one of these out and give it a try for a week, which is really, really cool to see if you actually like the lifestyle or if you enjoy road tripping and traveling. I will say it's very hard to leave this thing because it's so nice and it has everything you possibly need. But yeah, definitely a nice home on wheels. What in the Idaho potato is this? It's so incredibly creepy.